Good morning and welcome back to my dining room. As you can see, I've still got the dining table and chair ready for our exercises this morning. And this is clip four from the four Otago um, series that we've been recording for you. So we finished with our um, static balances um, on clip three. And so I'm going to take you through some of the dynamic balances now, which means we're going to be moving. So I've got my dining table as my support here, and I'm going to be walking along the side of this so it's within easy reach should I need to hold on to it as I'm walking or just reach out and touch it for a little bit of stability. But what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to do toe walking. So I'm moving back so you can see my feet. Toe walking is exactly what it says. We've already done um, at her heel raises where we raised our heels off of the ground and we're on our toes now and toe walking just means we walk forwards in a straight line, tiny little baby steps and just to demonstrate I'll go back the other way, up onto my toes, tapping the, the leg that I'm going to start with and tiny little baby steps keeping on our toes all the time. So if you're ready to do that with me, have your support ready. We're going to try for up to 10 steps. It doesn't matter if you can't do that many. Okay, so tapping the, the leg that we're going to start with and head up, tummy in. Do your baby steps, keeping the table or your support in mind and then turning, which is a safe way towards your support. I'm going to turn back now and walk back the way I came. So tapping the leg that I'm going to start with, up onto my toes, making sure my feet are hip width apart, tummies in, head up, trying not to look down at your feet, try to look where you're going. So that's toe walking and we would aim to do two or three sets of those if you want to really challenge yourselves. The next dynamic balance is heel walking and when we did toe raises earlier behind the chair we went up onto our heels and we're going to walk in that fashion. So again starting with the leg that's furthest from the support, the wall being my support in this demo, up onto our heels and off we go. In small baby steps, trying to keep in a straight line, tummy in and head up. I'll just go back towards the table now and then we're ready to do our longer set along the length of the table. Starting with the leg that's furthest from the table, up onto your heels and head up pull the tummy in, keep the support in your eyes sight all the time and then turning and resting feet down. Then when you're ready, turn yourself back, tapping your leg that you're going to start with, up onto your heels and walking along the side of your support. Now some of you might be really able to walk without that support but if you do need it, it's really important that you keep yourself safe to have it there to hand. So our next balance um, that we're going to do is our heel toe walking. So this is as if we're walking along a tightrope. So I'm going to demonstrate first along the short walk to begin with. So the foot furthest away from the support is going to be raised and you're going to place it down in front of the foot that's already there behind, leaving a little gap between the two. Once the front foot is down, you can raise the back foot and again place it down in front of the foot that's already there. When you place your foot down, put the toes down first, the ball of your foot, and then roll through to your heel. Now, you might need to hold on to support, or you might have good balance, in, or you could challenge your balance by taking the support away. I'm going to come back, so foot up, down, rolling through, head up. It's as if we're walking along a tightrope. Of course, we're not up on the air or maybe a line along the, the floor if you've got it. So we're going to start by doing um, alongside the table length here. And if you're going to do that with me, we're aiming up to 10 steps. And here we go. Foot up, down. Remember to leave a little gap. Head up. Nice and slow and with control, keeping the table or your support there so you can see it out of the corner of your eye should you need to rest or hold on to it for support. 
Both feet down, turning towards your support, and then back we go. Tapping the foot that you're going to lift first, and walking back as if we're on that tightrope. Making sure the ball of your foot goes down first, and rolling through, and don't take off that back foot until your first foot is firmly on the ground. So well done. That's our front toe to heel walk. Now we're going to do a sideways walk. So the sideways walk is one that we often do in our everyday lives. So we're often having to move sideways to get out of people's way or in and out of doorways. So to begin with, we're going to do little tiny steps. You raise your foot and just take a small step to the way you're going, the direction in which you're traveling and lift the other foot up and place it next to it. So again, rolling through from your toe through the foot to the heel and placing your other foot side by side. We'll go back the other way. Again, nice and slow and controlled. Keep your tummy in and your head up. I'm going to do this now along the length of the table. So the table is there for support should I need to hold on to it or I can challenge myself. Another way of challenging yourself is to take slightly wider steps, but only move on to that once you're happy and comfortable and secure with your sideways walking. So let's give it a go. So we're just going to walk sideways with little baby steps, remembering to keep our tummy in and our head up, and we're slow and controlled all the way. When we've done our set, we can stop, Take a pause, take a rest, and then we'll go back the other way. Now stepping sideways is also something we do when we have to step over things in our house. So there might be narrow corridors, there might be things that we need to avoid, there might be children's toys on the floor, and we have to lift our feet to avoid treading on them. So well done, that's our sideways stepping. We're just going to do an ordinary walk forwards now. So when we walk um, around the house or around the garden, we don't put our foot down first. We strike first with our heel. So we're just going to practice a walk forward as if we were walking slowly and with control, popping the heel down first. I'm using the length of the dining table again. I'm going to go back the other way. Start with the foot away from the support, nice and slow and controlled. Now one of the other exercises we do is to walk round um, a chair, so I'm moving my other dining chair here, and we do a figure of eight. Again, this is the walk where you're going to put your heel down first, and you can see I've created a narrow gap here. So again, this exercise gives us practice in walking around and about um, and getting through tricky spaces. So when you're ready, or if you've got something you can move, like a chair, to create um, an obstacle, you can just practice walking around. Now you could put two chairs together to create a figure of eight. So that's what I'm going to do now. Bringing my first chair here. And I'm going to start with a stand behind my chair, walking around one chair, in front of the other chair, the second one, and then completing the figure of eight by returning to my first chair. So those are our dynamic balances done for today. Well done, everybody. In class, we sometimes do a backward walk, um, but I'm not going to do that with you today because I'm not there in your home to help you or to guide you to make sure you don't trip over. But if you've got somebody at home who can watch you, then a backwards walk is something you could do. I'll just come to the front of my uh, table here. So a backwards walk would just simply be walking backwards along the length of the support and remembering to put the ball of your foot down first before you roll through to your heel. Now you've worked really, really hard. If you've gone through all four sets of exercises, well done to you. These are really going to help you build your muscle strength 
and your confidence and your balance so that you're able to move about your house easily, especially um, in these times when we're stuck in. It's really important to keep moving. But because you've been working your muscles hard, we need to make sure that we stretch out. So I'm going to guide you through the uh, two stretches that we do. So I'm going to sit down on my dining room chair. I'm remembering to feel for the front of the chair on the back of my calves. And then in one slow and steady movement, we're going to sit down with control. The first exercise um, is going to be where we extend a foot out and we just pull our nose, sorry, our toes to our nose. So if you've done this before in the uh, warm-up exercise, it's a very similar activity, but we keep pulling and pulling the toe up towards the nose. So we're going to hold for about 12 seconds you keep your knee and your ankle soft, but you pull, pull, pull. I shall do this again with the chair sideways so that you can see the next one. And release, and you should feel that's a nice relief on your muscles. Okay, pop the foot down, take a little pedal if you need to. Take the foot out again, keeping the knee soft, and pull that toe up towards your nose. Now for this activity, I'm sitting back in my chair. Pull, pull, pull. And release, well done. So I'm going to move my chair around to the side so that you can see me. And I'm going to work on this uh, foot this time. So, one foot on the floor, extending the other foot out, the knee and the ankle is soft, and then pulling, the toe up towards the nose. Holding for 12. Five, four, three, two, one, release, and down. Take a little walk. You should feel this as a stretch. It should hurt a little, but it shouldn't be unbearable. So are you ready? Extend the foot out and pull, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Well done. I'm going to keep in this position to show you the um, hamstring stretch. So you might need to hip walk to the middle or the front of your chair, particularly if your legs are a little shorter like mine. So you extend one of your feet out, resting your heel lightly on the floor. Pull your tummy in, back straight, and you're going to take your weight onto your bent leg. So we're going to lift up, lift up our rib cage, inhale, take a breath in, and then as we breathe out, we're going to exhale and take our weight onto our bent leg. Now we should feel the stretch up the back of the leg here. If you can't, you might need to either extend your leg a little further, or breathe in and exhale again and lean further forward. Again, we're holding the stretch for about 12 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and push up. And just give that leg a little pedal to release the tension that you had. So we're going to do that one again. Extend the leg out, resting the heel on the floor. Lift up. Exhale, take your weight onto your bent leg and feel the stretch up the back of your leg. Holding for 12 seconds. So I've got six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. So we need to do the other leg. I'm going to do this one facing forwards. So the other leg out, resting the heel loosely and lightly on the floor, soft knee, lifting up, exhale, lean forward and feel that stretch up the back of your leg. We, we all, near, all will have a, a leg that will feel slightly more sore than the other, uh, but that's absolutely normal. Okay, push up. Take your leg back in, give a little bit of a pedal for a rest. Extend the leg again, lift up, breathe in and then out. 
and take the weight on that bent leg. Feel that stretch. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, push up. Well done. You should give yourself a big round of applause if you've joined in with all of the activities today, working through all four sets, or whether you've just done one or two. It's really important if you choose just to do one or two sets that you always warm up at the start and finish with a stretch. But thank you for joining me in my dining room for Otago today and hope to see you soon.